how Washi, Eleanor Beatrix B. Congresso from Group 3, and the representation is all about China, its culture and architecture. Located in Southeast Asia along the coastline of the Pacific Ocean, China is the world's third largest country. With an area of 9.6 million square kilometers and a coastline of 18,000 kilometers. While China is the third largest country in the world, only about 15% of it is arable, as most of the country is made of mountains, hills, and highlands. China is diverse with snow-capped mountains, deep river valleys, broad basins, high plateaus, rolling plains, terraced hills, sandy dunes with many other geographic features and other landforms present in myriad variations. In general, the land is high in the west and descends at the east coast. Geology The geology of China consists of three Precambrian cratons surrounded by a number of orogenic belts. The three Precambrian cratons are North China Craton, South China Craton, and the Tarim Block. The modern tectonic environment is dominated by the continued collision of India with the rest of Asia, starting 40 to 50 million years ago. This has formed the Himalayas and continues to deform most of China. History Prehistoric China's chronology is divided into the Paleolithic Age, the Neolithic Age, and the Bronze Age. Without any reliable historical records, most of what has been pieced together about prehistoric life in China comes from speculation about human activity at archaeological sites and on earth relics. Ancient China Chinese civilization began along the Yellow River in the Shang era and spread from there when Bronze Age culture reached its peak. Then, traditional Chinese philosophies such as Confucianism and Taoism developed in the feudal Zhou era as China expanded in territory and population. Imperial China From the first centralized feudal empire, the Qin Dynasty, which was established in 221 BC until the collapse of Qing Dynasty in 1912, this period is known as the Imperial Era of China. The Imperial China period makes up the bulk of Chinese history, with a cyclical rise and fall of dynasties, Chinese civilization was cultivated and prospered in times of peace, then reformed after rebellions and conquests. China's Dark Ages During this messy time, many religions emerged and Buddhism was popular among the barbarian kingdoms of North China. Medieval China China went from having four warring kingdoms to being the most culturally sophisticated and technologically developed nation. Finally, it was consumed by the rise and fall of the phenomenal Mongol Empire, which stretched to Europe. Republic of China Era The Republican Revolution of 1911, led by Sun Yat-sen, ended the rule of the Qing Dynasty. However, the Republic of China could not be firmly established across China, with civil war ensuing for decades. Religion China is a country with a great diversity of religious beliefs. The main religions are Buddhism, Taoism, Islam, Catholicism, and Protestantism. Citizens of China may freely choose and express their religious beliefs and make clear their religious affiliations. But, the main religions in China are Buddhism, Taoism, and Confucianism. Dynasties The Xia Dynasty Possibly the first dynasty in ancient China. It's generally believed that the Xia dynasty consisted of several clans living alongside the Yellow River. Most of the evidence for the Xia dynasty, including its name, is perhaps just legend. The Shang dynasty The Shang dynasty was the first to have historical records remaining. Many bronze objects and jade articles which date back to 1600 BC have been found to support these early archaeological records. The Zhou dynasty after the Shang era, the larger Zhou era territory was divided by a network of feudal states and was ruled over by kings. The king of Zhou only had direct control over a small portion of the realm and received tributes from feudal states. The Qin Dynasty The first emperor, 
Qin Shi Wang was the first to use the title of emperor in China. He and his Qin state united China by conquering the other warring states, and he ruled with an iron fist. The Han Dynasty The longest imperial dynasty, the Han Dynasty was known for starting the Silk Road trade and connecting China with Central Asia and Europe. In the Han Dynasty, bureaucratic system in which promotion was based on merit was established and Confucianism was adopted by the state for national governance. The Sui Dynasty In 581, Yang Zhan usurped the throne in the north and, as Emperor Wen, united the rest of China under the Sui Dynasty. It was a short, intense dynasty with great conquests and achievements, such as the Grand Canal and the rebuilding of Great Wall. What's up mga ka-arkis? This is Laikin Makuryu and let's talk about Chinese architectural character. China's architecture was the first to significantly evolve. Pagodas and grottoes emerged in various regions of China as a result of the spread of Buddhism and the styles of India, Persia, and Greece were imported. One of the most essential components in traditional Chinese architecture is dugong, which is a structural element of interlocking wooden brackets. From the point of view of structural mechanics, the dugong structure is highly resistant to earthquake. It could hold the wood structure together even though the brick walls would collapse in the same earthquake. And now, let's move on to Chinese pagodas! Pagoda is a multi-story tower-like structure built of stone, brick, or wood that is generally linked with the Buddhist temple complex and therefore found throughout East and Southeast Asia, where Buddhism was for a long time the dominant religion. The Forbidden City The Forbidden City was the Chinese imperial palace situated in the very heart of Beijing was home to 24 emperors of the Ming and Qing dynasties. It is located in the center of Beijing, China, and now houses the Palace Museum. For almost 500 years, it served as the home of emperors and their households, as well as the ceremonial and political center of China's government. I'll be introducing you to six out of the many temples built here in China and I'll be discussing its architectural facade, design, and history. Temples are the houses of worship. Temples symbolize the long, rich history and culture of China. The temples may incorporate religious design depending on the religion. The best preserved Tibetan Buddhist temple, the architecture is comparable to the Forbidden Palace itself, therefore regarded as the miniature royal palace. First would be the Temple of Heaven, complex of religious buildings situated in the southeastern part of central Beijing. Several features of the temple complex symbolize the connection of heaven and earth. The Nanshan Temple Nanshan Temple is famous for the world's tallest Guan Yin Bodhisattva. The buildings of Nanshan Temple show the features of Chinese ancient architecture as well, with grand halls, red roofs, and white walls. Being built on a beautiful sea coast, it is regarded as a temple between the sky and the sea. The Takshangro Temple Takshangro Temple is known in China as a famous Buddhist monastery. Once was used as a worship place for the royal family and to hold national Buddhist activities. The layout of the temple is well arranged and magnificent. Inside resides one of the great carved arts of China. Let us now move on to the city walls, tombs, and entrance gateway of China. The Kingdom's Enduring Wall, the ancient Great Defense, the finest examples of the Imperial Tomb, and the Gate of those who lay Emin. This wall, the Shan City Wall, that stretches around the old city was once the greatest defense from invasion during the ancient times. Now it stands as one of the oldest and best preserved ancient historical structures in the world. This impressive structure is just a precursor to the remarkable city just over. What are the Ming Tombs of China? The Ming Tombs are a collection of imperial mausoleums built by the Chinese Ming Dynasty emperors. The first Ming Emperor's tomb is located near his capital Nanjing. However, the majority of the Ming Tombs are located in a cluster near Beijing, and collectively known as the 13 Tombs of the Ming Dynasty. Good day, good day, I am Christine Chitzelaga. I will be explaining you the 
the Chinese modern architecture. Here is some of the most famous structures in the world of Chinese modern architecture. It is the Beijing National Stadium. So the design is based on the nests of birds, not only aesthetically but also at an structural level. The entire structure visible from the outside, the National Aquatic Center, was it looks like a huge bubble blue box from which it takes nickname known as for the water cube. It is blue in order to reflect sunlight like it shines in inside and you may discover that pneumatic cushions of all sides are just like a sea bubbles structure. Third, the Shanghai World Expo. It is one of the biggest and most dramatic of the Shanghai Expo structures that can hold up to 18,000 people around the central stage.